Hi, I just thought I'd do another video to show the progress I've been making with my project to build a TV cabinet for my projector. It's almost done. There isn't that much left to do. There's just a few tweaks that need doing, but I just um, thought I'd show for anyone else who might be doing something similar with a Epson LS500 ultra short throw projector. The reason why you have to do some tweaking is the unusual design because the lamp sticks out you end up with something along these lines and the reason I built a drawer for anyone who doesn't know is when you're using an ultra short throw projector although the distance is quite short you end up having your cabinet quite far away from the wall and I didn't like that so that's why I decided to customize my IT, IKEA cabinet and build it so that the drawer can be pulled out that way you don't end up with a cabinet that's always far away from the wall so just to give you an idea is normally about this distance so if you imagine the whole cabinet was at th that distance all the time it's pretty far from the wall and I didn't really like that so it's almost finished um, what else do I need to do I built a cutout which lets you close the drawer. But I made a little bit of a mistake here because when I did the measurements, although I measured the plastic enclosure, I didn't take into account the way that the lens sticks out with this, this curve here. So if I was to try and close it completely, the lens could end up getting scratched. So I could, you know, cut out a bit further, but I'm feeling a bit lazy at this stage to be honest so what I'm going to do is get some kind of foam or rubber to build around here so that way even if someone closes it bangs it hard by mistake it won't damage the lens in the meantime what everyone's been doing and you know to be fair to my kids everyone's been following along whenever anyone finishes using the projector we just cover it and close it and as you can see there's a bit of a gap but it's not too bad I do still have a few adjustments to make with the lining of the doors so as you can see I've gone for black and red because I am a Star Wars fan so black and red for the Sith colors and also it matches my very understated sofa Right, and just in case no one's seen any of my other videos, um, I can give a little bit of a demonstration of what I've done, because I think it's pretty cool with the drawer. So if I just turn on the TV, with it being a projector, it takes a little while to warm up. So you'll have to bear with me for a second. And I think that's gone on to Netflix, yeah. So right, so what I've been doing is, if you look at the size of the screen, if I pull the jaw all the way out, the current size is probably about, let me turn the light up a bit. The current size is, around 120 inches but I can't go that far because of the lamps in the corner so when I push the drawer in I can go to what measures around 118 inches and if I did want to have a smaller display I could literally just push the drawer in like that Yeah, so that's kind of like how it is at the moment. That's probably the size of a, I don't know, 65 inch, maybe TV, something like that. But I wanted the proper cinema experience, which is why I've got this. So the last major part of my project will be to get a special screen called an ALR screen. What that does it, um, it stops light from giving you a washed out look during the daytime. So once I've got that, I'll be able to use this 
during the day without having to close the curtains, which I think is pretty cool. Yeah, so hope you find that useful. Anyone else who's doing a project similar to this, um, yeah, maybe they can tweak my idea. Well, it's not actually my idea. I stole the idea from someone on YouTube, but you know, someone can, someone with better carpentry skills can probably get this looking even nicer than this. Thanks. Any questions, feel free to get in touch. Thanks. Bye.